to the grocery store. What about in a month? Hi, I'm Melissa with Southland Organics. We've talked a little bit before about the term factory farming and its implications, but today we want to talk about the why. Why do we farm the way that we do? Why has it changed so much over the years? And why does it continue to change? As we mentioned in our last video, there's several trends over the last several decades that are pretty interesting. The number of farms, total acreage farmed, and production levels. Interestingly enough, the number of farms and total acreage being farmed have decreased over the years, but production continues to rise. How is that possible? What is even happening? The fact is that advancing technologies have made all of this possible. Advancements in veterinary practice, environmental conditioning, and nutrition make us able to raise our animals and our crops in a much more efficient and sustainable manner. The fact is that advancements in technology have made all of this possible. We know more today about environmental conditioning, veterinary practices, and nutrition than ever before. Most of our poultry today is grown in environmentally controlled conditions. Precision agriculture makes it easier and more efficient to grow crops. And robots are milking our cows. Although some of these changes are drastic, they're what have allowed our farmers and growers to provide for us in a better manner and more sustainably. Specific to the poultry industry, a lot of people suggest that maybe there's a better way to grow our broilers, to grow our turkeys, to grow, to raise our laying hens. Many of these people are advocates for free range systems. And while there are some advantages to outdoor access, there's a lot of conditions that you have to consider before starting to move in that direction. Recently at North Carolina State University, a poultry scientist did a review of the land available for growing poultry. At the time of the review, there were a little more than 31 million acres designated as usable agriculture land. Now, we do need to consider that parts of that land were designated for timber and unusable for free range poultry systems. Taking into account the amount of land recommended for free range systems per bird, they would need an additional 400,000 acres of land to grow all of the poultry in North Carolina with outdoor access. Where are you gonna get that land from? Eventually that would mean tapping into other pieces of land used for other things, urban areas, housing, land developments. All of those things would have to be halted in order to just sustain the level of agriculture that they're having in North Carolina right now, just simply moving your birds outside. On a more drastic note, there are proponents of being food self-sufficient. That means that you would grow the amount of food needed for you and your family on your own. Now the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations suggests 17 acres of land per individual person. That means that every person in your home would need 17 acres of land to grow the food that they need for a year, barring any disease, crop loss, environmental changes, anything that might cause you to lose some of that food. With a population of approximately 330 people, the United States would need something like 5.5 billion acres of land for every citizen to be food self-sufficient. Now you're probably thinking, how many acres of land does the United States have? 2.4 billion, and that includes ice, desert, mountains, timbers, urban areas, all of the spaces that you can't use. So what do you do? The fact of the matter is that even though our agriculture systems have changed, there's not a sustainable way to do it other than what we're already doing. You can move outside of what's the normal, but you can't do it on your own. We've tried that hundreds of years ago. An evolution of the industry has brought us to where we are today. Fortunately, a small population of the American people, about 2%, provide for us on a small portion of that land, something like 900 million acres. The American farmer grows enough food for you, me, our families, and the rest of the families in our country on only fractions of the land that it theoretically should take. And that's been made possible by their dedication and the technology that's been allotted to them. So the next time you go to the grocery store and you're picking out a bell pepper or a bag of chicken nuggets, Think about the farmer that grew it and be grateful for their dedication. And if you are part of that 2%, from here at Southland Organics, we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for everything that you do for us, the American people, and people outside of our own country. The world quite literally would not be the same without you.